I wonder what part of America do I sound like I'm from? <laughs> Someone's gonna be like, the wrong part. Although I sound like I have some kind of nasal issue. Beautiful! Yes! Okay. Beautiful people, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I'm excited as I always am. And today I've done something a little bit different. I'm stereotyping people like crazy right now, and I am doing Americana, American makeup versus British or UK makeup. And I just thought it would be a fun video to do. I love doing like half and half kind of looks. And you know, I feel like I'm part of both camps. 40% of my followers are from the US, so shout out to you guys. We love you, yes! And then, of course, 50% of my followers are from the UK, you know, British Pride and all that jazz. And that I love, you know, creators and YouTubers from the US, like Patrick Starr, James Charles, Jackie Ina, it's my Ray Ray. I love my US girls, and they, like, they, they, they slay. They slay, like, literally. And then I love my UK girls. I feel like I'm right in the middle where you know, some days I just want to have an American moment, which is when I bring out my Felicia S accent and I know I'm going to offend somebody because I sound so nasally when I do the accent. I know I'm sorry, but some days I just bring her out, you know, <laughs> and then some days I'm like, you know, chill. So I thought it would be nice to kind of draw, draw some inspiration to have, oh, lipstick on my teeth, um, to have a look at the differences between the two. I'm stereotyping, I know. But let me know, what kind of side do you think you are? I'm gonna stop talking. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure you're following me on my social. If you are not, I do giveaways a lot, so make sure you are active on my Twitter, on my Instagram. But yeah, we're gonna get straight into this video and Felicia is gonna come out as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna moisturize my face and I believe that, you know, our UK people and our American people value, you know, a face that isn't ashy. I'm gonna go in with my vitamin enriched moisturizer. This is from Bobbi Brown. I love this as a moisturizer for my face. It contains shea butter. Okay, so when it comes to the brows, I feel like British people are a bit more, let me fill in my brow, you know, fill it in, make it look tidy. A lot of girls that I know have actually naturally got amazing brows. Their eyebrows, they just need to put a lip, just a couple of hairs in, you know, that gentle hair movement and you're like, how is that even, you know, worthwhile? And then I feel like Americans, they like sculpt the brow, like, if I watch Nikki tutorials, listen, it's like she has a needle. I'm going in with my Paradise Brow Pomade, which is from L'Oreal Paris. And I feel like with American brows, you can pull out that tail. It is all about that sculpt, honey. But we're going to go in. I'm using a full, full, full coverage concealer. It's from Bobbi Brown. And this is the Instant Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm sure I've shared this with you guys before. My favorite brush, this is from Backstage Beauty. This brush is my eyebrow brush for, you know, eyebrow brush days. That line needs to be so sharp that it could cut a bitch. And then I feel like they get the front to fade, like fade away. Fading into the distance, you know? Yes! I feel like my UK brow is a little bit less sculpted and a little bit more of a natural feel. And to conceal, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. It's a little bit more of a lighter coverage and slightly closer to my skin tone. I mean, they're both cute brows, aren't they? They're still, that's a cute brow and that's a cute brow, but different brows. Let us go in with the foundation. Okay, and I'm sure foundation varies based on where you're from or like if you're a Cali girl or a New York girl. I do notice that the girls from the States get away with a bit more of a fuller coverage foundation. You know, they like that beat to look like an actual beat. I'm going to go in with the Sephora 10 hour wear foundation no light it's be kind of become my everyday foundation um this foundation is so full coverage it lasts all day I, I i live for it i i love it i love it but i know for some people it's like well that foundation is a lot but for me i'm like no honey i love it if you are in the market for affordable brushes please take a look at these from L'Oreal Paris. 
So these are the brushes. This is the first time I believe they have done brushes. And there's also this little kapuki brush as well. I'm so here for it because I know how hard it is to find, you know, good quality drugstore brushes. I tried these in Paris and they were amazing. I think they've launched now or they're just about to launch. You can check them out in store. If I can find them, I'll link them down in the description bar below. But we don't all need to spend like eight thousand pounds on brushes okay we're not all set up like that we need quality at an affordable price so i'm going to go ahead with the sephora foundation and i'm going to use the foundation brush to apply that nice and easily and i know this looks a bit orange but trust me it blends so well oh this foundation brush is so so soft and so nice for application. Oh, I feel like it is nice to switch to using a brush because you can really kind of get in there if that makes any sense. This side is feeling covered. I'm feeling fancy already. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the Ordinary Foundation. This is a lightweight foundation. I'm gonna mix some shades. They sound really watery. Can you hear that? Oh, it's literally liquid. I have used these before, I just can't remember. Okay, so that is my two different sides, two different bases. And now, let's go in with the concealer. Again, I feel like with my Americana side, we can go in with a little bit more, go a little bit heavier. So again, I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Coverage Concealer. The shade is Almond. This concealer has not left my side because I live for it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to talk with an American accent when I do this side of my face. Although I sound like I have some kind of nasal issue. I, I don't wanna offend anybody, but girl, you know, I love you. Oh my God, I sound awful. I, I'm just gonna stop, actually that was painful. I'm gonna go ahead with the concealer brush from L'Oreal to just blend that all in. Okay, and on my UK side, I'm gonna go in with the concealer from L'Oreal Paris. Oh, I love the applicator of this. It's actually quite full coverage. It's a much lighter liquidy formula, but it is, it's giving me coverage. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay, here we are, two different sides, and I'm seeing the difference. Okay, next up, what are we gonna do next? Let's go into the eyes before we go into the baking. Okay, so I'm gonna go for two different palettes. I'm gonna go for the Shade and Light palette, Kat Von D. This was like my everyday favorite palette, nice and neutral. And then I'm gonna go for my um, Prism palette for my Americana side, and we're gonna get dramatic. I'm gonna use the shade Unity on my lid just to kind of white it out, but I think we're gonna put some glitter on. And you know, blending is imperative, honeys. Then I'm gonna add a little satin orange just because I love orange. And I feel like Brits rarely ever use like black. For me to have applied black, it's like, oh my God. I personally do not wear like really, really dramatic eye makeup. I feel like Jaclyn Hill, because I swear every time I see her on like Snapchat, she's got some dramatic, some smoky eye on a Thursday afternoon like on her Snapchat. I'm shocked, but she always looks amazing with it. So let's just have a Jaclyn Hill moment, you know? And then I'm gonna go in with eyeliner, like black eyeliner. And I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Liner. This liner, listen. And I'm gonna add a little of that parallel and that satin just under my eye as well. So these are the metallic lip paints. These are new, I believe, for Christmas from L'Oreal. Um, these are for the lips, but I'm gonna get fancy and I'm gonna use these on my eyelids. Although these are lip paint, I'm gonna go ahead and use that gorgeous gold color on my eye because I can. Oh, and that dries down so beautifully. And you know, the brow's gotta get that highlight as well. I hate highlighting my brow, but a lot of people love it. Guys, these are my velour lashes. I feel like I've gotta go big or I've gotta go home. Ooh, this pair look gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with this liner from Ico, just to add a little bit of a nice tight line. Oh yes. I feel like I'm about to fly off into greatness, like these eye eyelashes are about to take me off. 
into my destiny, you know? Into my destiny. She hey. says our destiny. <laughs> Okay, so that literally took about 45 minutes. I cannot imagine doing this kind of eye look every single day. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do, you know, my British eye, which should be a little bit more simple. I'm just gonna go in with this kind of um, beigey color. As you see, it gets a lot of use. This is me every day. I feel like as a Brit, we just wanna go for something that's a little bit more nudie, a little bit more warm neutrals and close to our like natural skin us but a little bit better i'm just gonna go with this um kind of purple shade which is more like a nudie shade for me and just add a little bit of depth what's crazy is that my color choices are almost very similar it's just that this side my american size just a little just a little bit more you know just a little bit more sass i will say us brits and europeans our mascara is our everything i know that mascara is like the number one selling product in the uk and in europe and like women would rather go out with bare face than not have mascara oh but come through baby lashes we've got a little something coming through oh okay i feel like my, my lashes can have a moment if i if i let them breathe all right hello hello england and hello america ah like we're doing good, we're doing good. We're very different though, aren't we? I know we like to contour in America. I'm going to use my contour stick. This is um, from MAC, I love it. It gives me angles, it gives me chin. I love that this brush from L'Oreal has the angled contour brush, yes. And we're just gonna go hard. We're gonna do the Kim three, three, you know? She does the three, or is it a C shape? I can't remember what it is to really hit that contour. My American accents come back out. We gonna hit that contour. I wonder what part of America do I sound like I'm from? <laughs> Someone's gonna be like, the wrong part. <laughs> yes, let's blend that in. And you see, you don't even need to know how many pies I ate this weekend. Yes, chin life. And I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. You guys know I love this. I'm gonna lightly just apply that here. And it's a powder. So you have a lot less dramatic effect, but you can build it up, which I feel is like very British. You know, just a little, just a little angle in there. Just a little snatching of the chin. Well, I'm I'm glowing like the sun. So what we're gonna need to do, we are going to now begin the bakeage life. So I'm gonna go in with my Sasha and I'm gonna bake under my eyes. I mean, and from what I've seen on YouTube, the Americans really bake. Also just some added sharpness on the side here. Whereas on my British side, I'm just gonna go in with a brush and lightly swash some powder around. And this just kind of gets rid of the shine, but it doesn't have much impact on like the contour. Oh, this brush. This is so, this is an excellent powder brush. I'm also gonna go in with my Laura Mercier A in the dark just to give my face an overall set, you know? Oh, I feel like I look very natural here. And here, honey, and here, honey. It's like, what? All right, let's get this bake off. Oh, this brush is wonderful. I don't know which hand I like the most now. I feel like baking though, that brings all that difference bit. Oh, I love it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Kit, also from L'Oreal. This is a highlighting palette. Again, I think this is new for Christmas. Look at the packaging. How lovely is this? Oh, and there's so many you are golds, like you are gold. We're just gonna go in with this beautiful gold here. There's no glitter in this. This is a much more gentle highlight. So I think this is great. Oh, it's pretty here. But you see how lovely that is. That gold is fantastic. No glitter in here really really smooth without like highlighting my imperfections but over here we're just we're just gonna go in with some fenty because you have to this is my favorite use all the time it's moscow mule and ginger binge it's actually more of a pinky color but i like that i feel like our americans we we, we like a lot more highlighter i say i said we like i'm part of the crew am i part of the family can i be part of your family beautiful elegant and just like, I'm here, I'm alive. Okay, we need some highlight on my nose. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the like tip of the nose beam. 
where your nose looks like a traffic light. It's just too much. I'm just gonna add a little blush because that's what I need. I feel like I can go a little heavier on my American side. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my favorite go-to shade, but this is also phenomenal as well. But this has got a little shimmer in it. Well, I have arrived. <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> this is really arrival, and we're just gonna apply some here, but just in a little bit more of a dispersed way, you know. The lips as well, we make it all count. I'm going to go in with this lip lacquer, and this is like just a rich, oh, a rich purple. I'm overdrawing just a little bit, because I know in America, everything bigger is better, sweetie. Look at that lacquer. That shade, I want to put it all over. <gasps> it's pretty. It's so good for Christmas. I'm gonna add the gold. I'm gonna add that metallic lip paint. Oh wow, it looks very metallic. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. I'm gonna go in with my line, favorite liner from MAC, Bittersweet. It's a really nice like brown, but like a ready brown. And then I'm gonna go in with the Sephora. These are the cream lip stains, they're a matte. Super hard to do this half and half lip. So guys, that is my finished results. I think it looks really cool. What's crazy is that I like both sides equally. Like, here's my like, you know, casual, don't really care, you know, you know, London girl, you know, we don't need to try too hard. Don't need to do too much over here, right? And we're confident, but we're maybe a little bit more chilled out. And over here, we've just got Miss America, who is just fabulous and flawless. All the time, honey, all the time. She's always got her hair done, her nails done, her eyelashes are on fleek. How good does that look though? I think it looks crazy. This is me though on like a Saturday night. This is, you know, this is better than me on a, on a Monday morning, to be honest with you. That is our British versus American and I am here for it, I like both sides equally. And by the way, I'm not st I'm not stereotyping, I'm just basing it based on, you know, just being in beauty on YouTube and having friends from all over. And I love the differences, you know, between people and stuff like that. And I'm sure there have been the Americans are like, honey, I never do this. This is me every day. And I know there'll be some Brits who are like, Patricia, I like to be extra fly. I like to have a dramatic moment. So whatever you are like, let me know in the comments below. So guys, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.